Hey guys, today we're going to talk to you about the BitTitan error 401, unauthorized, or it's the error that you get when you're trying to verify credentials and trying to get it to authenticate against a Microsoft 365 tenant, whether that's a source or a destination, and specifically when you're doing mailbox migrations. So today we're going to show you the four most common reasons that you get this error and what you can actually do to get around those. So, the first and most likely reason that you're bumping into this problem is that multi-factor authentication is enabled for the account that you're using to do the migration. So, real quick way to check that is if you pop into your 365 Admin Center, which you can see here, go over to Users, go into Active Users, and then across the top here, you will see the option for multi-factor authentication. So if you click there, you're going to be taken through to the multi-factor authentication settings. These are the legacy Office 365 multi-factor authentication settings. There are also some settings in conditional access. We'll talk about those in a moment. If this is where um, MFA is being enabled for the user, what you want to do is make sure that it is disabled for the account that you're using to do the migration. So typically that's the migration whiz account or another admin account that you're using. Make sure that it is set to disabled here. If you're using multi-factor authentication that is controlled through conditional access, then you're going to want to come into the Azure AD portal. The quick way I like to get there is usually through the portal.azure.com into Azure Active Directory down here, over to security, and then up to conditional access. So if there's a conditional access policy here that is enforcing multi-factor authentication, again, what you want to do here is exclude the migration account from that policy. Real simple to do. I'll use this policy as an example. Uh, but all you're going to do is when it comes to users or identities is you're going to put in an exclude here, and then you're going to exclude a particular user that you're going to be using for the migration. Real simple stuff. Okay, the second most likely reason uh, that you're getting the 401 error and that it's failing is that security defaults is turned on for the tenant. So again, if conditional access policies are not being used, if I just pop back here, again, starting from the base of Azure Active Directory, you're going to look down under properties. Now, quite uniquely, security defaults is not under security, it's under properties. You're going to look under properties here for manage security defaults. Again, you want to make sure that this is disabled. If this is enabled, then you won't be able to authenticate using the BitTitan migration with client. Set this to disabled. What you should do is then go ahead and create some conditional access policies, but that is a challenge for a different day. The third most likely reason that you're getting this error is a brand new reason that started to roll out throughout 2021 and is now starting to hit more and more tenants, but it's where Microsoft have actually disabled basic authentication at the back end, which is affecting EWS, the Exchange Web Services, that we need to do the migration. Now, you might be tempted to come along and look inside your Office 365 portal here. Under Settings, Organization Settings, and I think it is down here under uh, modern authentication. And what you will do is you'll have a look on the right hand side and it will tell you when it's finished loading. It will tell you that basic authentication protocols is allowed for all of these things. And right there you can see it says exchange web services and that's great. But if you read this really closely, what you'll find is that this actually only applies to modern clients. So things like the modern Outlook client. BitTitan Migration Wiz isn't using the modern Outlook client, so this basic authentication protocol isn't supported. So at the back end, basic authentication has been disabled. Okay, so Microsoft have actually created a small built-in tool to re-enable this for you. If you come down here to the right-hand side and click Help and Support, and you have to be very specific about what you type in here. So type in diag colon, and you're going to type enable basic auth in EXO. Has to be exactly that set of keywords by the looks of it. I've tried slight variations and it doesn't work. Now, at the top, we understand you'd like to initiate a request to update basic authentication settings. Yes, please. Run some tests. Now it's going to go away and check whether basic authentication is enabled or disabled for all those protocols in the background, and then it's going to come back and give us an option to change those. So let's give that a second to run. 
Okay, great. So here are the results. And you can see that basic authentication is disabled for the following protocols. And right there is Exchange Web Services. And that's the thing that we need to be used by um, BitTime. So protocols to enable, you get a little drop down box and we just wanna say, hey, I wanna turn on Exchange Web Services, not Outlook, including EWS, just Exchange Web Services. Give that a click, tick the box and then update settings. And that is gonna run off and do that. Now, I would give that about 15 to 20 minutes for it to do that, and then restart your Verify credentials again in BitTitan, and it should be absolutely fine. The fourth most common reason that you get the 401 unauthorized error is not actually to do with authenticating with the client, but it's that the account that you're using, usually the MigrationWiz account, doesn't have permissions to all the other mailboxes that you want to migrate mail into. And that is done using the application impersonation permissions. Okay, so what we're gonna do is run PowerShell. Here we go. I'm gonna run this as an administrator. And we are going to install module, uh, if I can type, Exchange Online Management. Great stuff. So we're going to say yes to all. Okay, that's installed. So now we are going to import the module. Still can't type. Exchange Online Management. I really can't type today. Done, okay, and now we are going to connect. Exchange Online. Done, now the first thing that we need to do is enable organization customization. So let's just see if we can tab that, cool. So on our tenant here, you can see we already have uh, organization customization set up. So we've got this message here in red, it's already enabled for customization. The next thing you want to do is create a new management role assignment. And we're going to call this role application impersonation. Yep. Yeah. And then we're going to assign it to the migration was user or whichever user that you are using to do the migration. Again, once you've assigned that, give that about five to 10 minutes just to make sure everything kicks in. It's all happy at the back end. You may sometimes get a delay with the organization customization as well, just while that kicks in. But once that management role is assigned, go ahead and run your authentication check again and your migration check again inside BitTitan and everything should be absolutely fine. Well, that's it guys. That is everything that we wanted to tell you today about the four best ways to get through the most common errors that we've seen with the unauthorized error and the failure to check credentials inside BitTitan when you're doing a 365 migration. If you see any other common errors or if these four things don't fix the error that you're getting with that 401, let us know in the comments below and let's, let's see if we can have a conversation. All right, guys, we will see you next time.